Welcome to this week's Science and Spirituality, where in the first in the three-part series, we highlight the highly intriguing work of Russian biophysicist, inventor, and pioneer of the innovative scientific field called electrophotonics, Dr. Konstantin Karatkov. Dr. Karatkov, who is based in St. Petersburg, Russia, invented the gas discharge visualization or GDV technique by which the energy fields emanating from humans may be viewed in real time. Among other areas, GDV is being applied in predictive medicine. Those trained to use a GDV device can detect health issues, so clients can make lifestyle changes to resolve the condition or receive medical care from a doctor right away. Dr. Karatkov is also the author and co-author of several books, including Measuring Energy Fields, State of the Science, Science Aura and Consciousness, New Stage of Scientific Understanding, and Light After Life. Let's now welcome Dr. Karatkov to our show. Uh, my name is uh, Konstantin Karatkov. I am professor of a national research university in Russia, dealing with technical science. At the same time, I'm deeply involved in uh, testing athletes, uh, Olympic teams, Paralympic teams, and consulting worldwide uh, for health issues for different health centers. For many years, I worked in Soviet Union in different governmental projects in science uh, related to laser optics, quantum physics, solid state physics. At the same time, I was very interested in uh, Oriental philosophy in oriental wisdom, in Chinese medicine. Finally, I came to understanding that without uh, understanding energy, without understanding human spirit, we can't uh, get real understanding of the world. We have many types of energy and we can measure it with many different instruments. As the current era advances, Science is venturing into new frontiers to explore what's beyond the physical dimension and being used to reaffirm the teachings of ancient spiritual texts. Many scientists have acknowledged that we are more than biological, physical, and chemical entities and are indeed also divine spiritual beings. It is recorded in the book of Genesis that God said, let there be light. In ancient traditions, they tell about different layers of energy field from physical point of view. And those are frequencies. So we emanate light, we emanate frequency in very big range, and we can divide this range into some specific parts as we do in our software. But again, from scientific point of view, it's mostly for convenience, because in reality it's continuous spectrum. One of the uh, instruments to measure energy are bioelectrography instruments. It was in 1777 when German physicist found that in electrical field you can see light coming from some subjects. Uh, it is all related to electricity and photons. Our team was able to transform this to a new stage. So it is transformation from photography to digital computer processing and digital analysis. So we study light emanated by different subjects in electrical field. The question is whether it's possible to study this light without electrical field. Yes, it's possible. Those are uh, self-emanating photons. So we all emanate light. And this light comes both from living beings and from inanimate subjects. Dr. Karatkov and his colleagues have conducted much research to demonstrate to the world that the gas discharge visualization technique has many applications in the medical field. From the very beginning we had clinical studies with GDV camera in uh, top-level hospitals, universities, first in Russia, then in the United States, we collected a lot of clinical data. And based on this clinical data, we can uh, have statistical information, good health, disease, 
uh, disturbances in health. By reading light coming from fingers, doctors can predict weak points of the human organism. And this is very important because our aim not to treat the illness, but to prevent it. If we can detect problem on a very early stage, we can prevent it and don't allow it to develop to some disease. It's very well known. If you can catch, for example, cancer in early stage, it may be treated uh, very efficiently. We work in the line of predictive medicine. Medicine of health. And our aim to give people information and recommendations what should be done to keep them healthy for a long time. Uh, for example, in our medical academy, uh, they made study on uh, people after surgery. And they found that by measuring energy, they can predict the outcome of surgery. It's very important because uh, it's very important for doctors to define whether this particular person can survive surgery or it's better to leave it uh, as it is. A lot of people, mostly elderly people, after surgery may become very depressive. So it is really very unpleasant and dangerous. By measuring energy, we can predict this condition and then take precautions by measuring uh, people's energy. It is mathematically possible to define the probability of uh, hypertension. We have a big line of uh, research with our Oncological uh, Institute of Russia, with top-level professors interested in maintaining uh, in people. So uh, by monitoring people week after week, after treatment, we can really see how they are developing and we can prescribe treatment to improve their conditions. Why does the gas discharge visualization technique specifically measure the energy emanating from the client's hands? Dr. Karatkov now explains the reason. Our hands and our fingers are the most sensitive parts of our body. We have the most amount of sensors compared with all other parts of the body. And we have the highest part of sensitive uh, area in our brain related to hands and fingers. It is possible to connect information on fingers with Chinese meridians. We create a map of correlation between fingers and meridians. Then it was clinically verified on thousands of patients. Our Supreme Master Television correspondent had a gas discharge visualization technique assessment done to measure his health status. Let us now find out the results. We see here schön the Entlautungen um um diese Finger herum. Jetzt berechnet der Computer diese Daten und zeigt sie uns in einem Bild, das den menschlichen Körper zeigt. So, und jetzt geht es darum, diese Aufnahmen auszuwerten, zu interpretieren. Und wir sehen hier in diesem Bereich die Pixel, erzählt uns diese Lichtpunkte und das gibt uns einen Wert der Energie. Wir haben hier 13.000 Pixel und eine Symmetrie von 82%. Die Symmetrie heißt die Verteilung von rechts und links eine Energie von 82 bis 100 Prozent ist gut. Dieses Bild zeigt den psychischen Zustand und auf der rechten Seite den physischen Zustand. Im physischen Bereich sind wir hier bei 28.000 Lichtpunkten und bei einer Symmetrie von 94 Prozent. Das heißt, im körperlichen Bereich ist der Klient topfit. So, uh, by measuring fingers and uh, images or light coming from the fingers, we recreate in the computer the model of the energy field around the body. And it was tested in many, many experiments. We have a lot of people in the world who can see energy, who can see auras. So we correlated our measurement with their vision. 
and it was proven that it's really very high correlations. When we have some holes in energy field, those holes may be some weak functional activity of the organ and system. So uh, the difference between our instrument, our approach, and ultrasound or tomography, we don't look to the structure of the organ. We look to its functional activity. If you eat appropriate food, you're absolutely in good condition. If you eat wrong food, then it creates a lot of negative uh, emotions, a lot of negative feelings. Our diet affects not only our physical health, but also our mental, psychological, and spiritual well-being. Since time immemorial, sages and enlightened masters have strongly advocated the avoidance of animal flesh. When animals are slaughtered, they go through tremendous trauma, anxiety, and fear. So when meat is consumed by humans, the animal's negative, agonized energies are transferred into the meat eater's bodies, influencing their energy fields. Over time, this distortion in the energy fields results in illness and disease. In general, the main factor that influence energy field, those are anxiety and stress, a negative factor in life. You may have anything from environment, changing of conditions, but it may have very low influence compared with your own inner peace. If people don't have peace and calm in their soul, never their energy field will be in good conditions. If people don't have means to calm their mind, their consciousness, then of course they have a lot of troubles. Our negative emotions influence not only our own field, our own system, but it has influence to other people as well. So people who are in bad negative condition, in bad mood, in negative mood, they send this condition outside to the environment, to other people. More and more physicians and other health experts are encouraging people to switch to a plant-based diet for optimal health and longevity. Avoiding meat, dairy, and eggs rids our bodies of the pressure and negative energy transmitted from these animal products to our cells. On numerous occasions, Supreme Master Ching Hai has spoken about why an organic vegan diet should be embraced by everyone around our world. As in this May 2008 video conference held in Seoul, South Korea. Now vegetarian diet is benevolent, so it will bring you happy energy. And that in turn will breed more happiness, We attract more happiness. And when you're happy, Everything will be better. Our sincere thanks, Dr. Konstantin Karatkov, for introducing us to the amazing gas discharge visualization technique. Your research is truly uniting science and spirituality. For more information on Dr. Karatkov, please visit www.new.karatkov.org. Dr. Karatkov's book, Light After Life, a Scientific Journey into the Spiritual World is available at www.amazon.com. Please join us again next Monday on Science and Spirituality for part two of our three-part series on the work of Dr. Konstantin Karatkov when he will shed more light on our divine connection with one another and the environment. Thank you, friendly viewers, for your company today on our program. Coming up next is words of wisdom after noteworthy news. May we always emanate loving energy. For more details, please visit www.suprememastertv.com forward slash ss.